Hello guys, Red here with an interesting video. What you see before you are two knapsacks, two different ones. One from the 1960s Boy Scouts, the other from the 1860s American Civil War. Replica, original. Today I'm going to look at both of these knapsacks and see this and spot the differences, the similarities and what hasn't changed over the years or what's briefly been modified. Let's start with the outsides. Here we have the American Civil War knapsack. Blanket rolls on top, blanket straps on top, for your blanket or great coat, whichever you prefer. Go down, we have three more straps, which tightly secure the knapsack all together via these three buckles. Let's see how the other one is. Huh. No blanket roll straps. And a simple little tie to keep the flap down. Let's flip them over and get a look at their, sh at their shoulder straps. Very similar straight off the bat. Let's get more analysis. Let's start with this one this time. Hmm. Those look very comfortable, don't they? Adjusting strap. Very easy. Easy adjustment. And look. You even have a... A buckle there, but no buckle here. Let's see what the Civil War one has to offer. Hmm. Very uncomfortable. Yep. Straps to hook onto belt. Hmm. And look, they also have a buckle that just simply. And then undone. But this one is solid, just as the other one. Well, you know what I mean. And look, just as easy? No, more difficult to adjust. So you can see how that has evolved over the years. Now the next step would be to open these two and get a look on the inside. I figured, let's see how we open each one. This one, very common, very simple. Undo the straps and flip. Let's see about this one. Huh, okay. Pull the strings. Okay. And then flip. Huh. Okay. Now let's get a look on the inside. Now all this stuff on the, in, on the Boy Scout one was given to me. Okay. Got equipment. Nice. Blanket. I suppose you could fit a blanket in there. And this one has an apron and a sack. But where is the Boy Scout one? Ah! There it is. But that one has leather ties that you tie into a bow. That one just has straps that you strap down through a simple... I don't even know what these ones are called. These are so out of date. They like bite it. So you can see the teeth move up and down a bit. It's very interesting how things through history will change, and yet they will stay so similar. Both for a different purpose. One for war, one for teaching boys how to survive in the wild, and teaching them very common skills that over time became more and more extinct, I should say, amongst the common people. But as one where living outside and living off the land was very common. I find it quite interesting that each one of these were designed for a different purpose. And yet, in their own way, they're still very similar. The straps, the aprons, the sacks, how they're carried on the back, they're both sewn the same way. That just shows you throughout history how different things are. But... How same they stay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video of my knapsack analysis. Leave in the comments if there's anything I anything I missed, or if there's anything else you would like to see me do between these two knapsacks. I may also be doing a World War II 1940s Army knapsack in the future, along with these three. Well, these two that would make it three. 
But there are a few channels I want to shout out. General Cody HD, Calibrated Core, Papa Core to me, uh, Civil War Digital Digest, Brandon F, Company the Second United States Sharpshooters, and the Townsends. The Townsends I go for all my recipes because the recipes were passed down, hand down, from parents to children. Commonly mother to daughter. But in times like this, in the Civil War, definitely mothers to sons. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I leave, I read all of my comments. Hit the bell notification for all your latest red content. And no, I do not mean red communism. I mean red good old America. The red, white, and blue. Mm-hmm, America. Guys. All right. With continuation of this video, I know I said I know I ended it, but in different clothing, I know. But I just got a surprise package from CNC, and I'm not really surprised because I I paid I I ordered something, but I because the way things have been now, I forgot what it is that I ordered. So, just a little tack onto this video. Let's get her open and we will see what's inside. Oh, look at you see right now. We'll see what's inside. Did it. <laughs> Put the karambit back where it goes. Anyway, this is something that I've been looking forward to because I needed one and CNC provided because they are the best. My sword knot! Yes, 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 yes. My gold sword knot. Wait, I've messed up the process of my usual unboxings. Yes, yes, everything here seems to be in order. A sword knot. Yes, 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 yes. What? They tied it with string. This new technology these kids are using. Ooh, you are pretty. Look at that, guys. Look at that prettiness. So, the next video. I don't think that part moves. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. It's my first sword knot. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, I already did the outro, but... I just want to say again, thank you so much, CNC. You guys are the best. And thank you for the phone call I got today. You guys. CNC is one of those settlers who really cares about their people. We they they it <laughs> they they really make you feel welcome. Like some other places, you know, they can be a bit harsh. And it, it you just don't want to associate yourself with those people because it's just like you know, you mess up, hey, I was checking up on more order. It's coming. Oh, okay. Whereas, you know, you call CNC or email them. I've done both. And it I I don't like talking to a lot of people on the phone just because it, it just bugs me. It gives me really weird sort of like anxiety, I guess you could say. But I will gladly call CNC any day just because when they call me, they're like, hey, Sam, what's up? And it's like, oh, hi, guys. How you doing? Those of you who don't know, my real name is Sam. Samuel, Samuel the Camel, Mule, I go by many nicknames. I had one in high school that was really cringy, they called me Reaper. It is what it is, but I've rambled enough. CNC, you guys outdid yourselves again. This thing is amazing, it's beautiful. It is something I'm proudly going to wear. Do I wear it? That my sword shall wear with pride, and I will constantly brag that I got this whole thing from CNC Celery. See you guys.